At this point, we know how to inscribe in circles, triangles, squares, pentagons, and hexagons. The next step in the natural progression is to do the same for a 15-gon, a regular polygon of 15 angles and 15 sides. Given this circle, we would like to inscribe a regular 15-gon. To do so, inscribe a regular triangle and a regular pentagon so that they share a vertice. Focus on sides AB of the pentagon and AC of the triangle. We wish to divide the circle into 15 equal parts. Notice that since a triangle divides the circle into 3 equal parts and 3 divides evenly into 15, there will be 5 of the 15 equal parts in the circumference contained by AC. The pentagon divides the circle into 5 equal parts, and 5 divides evenly into 15, so there will be 3 of the 15 equal parts in the circumference contained by AB. Therefore, the circumference BC will contain 2 of the 15 equal parts. We know how to divide a circumference in half, so doing so, labeling it E, means we have one of the 15 equal parts, namely circumference BE. Connect BE. This is one of the 15 parts. We can get the others by using proposition 4.1, specifically, keep fitting lines equal to line BE around the circle till we make it back to E. The 15 gon is equilateral and easily seen to be equiangular. If not, use the proof pattern from the hexagon or pentagon. We have thus inscribed a circle with a regular 15 gon. For other combinations of inscription or circumscription, see the note at the end of Proposition 4.15.